and start recording again. There we mm -hmm. go. Welcome back. Let's continue where we... no, wrong file. Let's continue where we left off. So, you could... I could change this for he dropped down and stumbled outside. Oh, actually, no, never mind. Now that I've read it out loud. <laughs> oh, hang on. C Corey examined the figure in the chair? Or Corey examines the figure in the chair? Examined. Examined the figure in the chair. I noticed how the safety harness was cutting into the predictive suit. I was became very clear that this was not his trouble. His partner trouble. <laughs> this is comma his partner, comma trouble. Uh, it works either way. I think it doesn't need a comma here. Like uh, you could say that this was not trouble, comma his partner. Then then it needs comma. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't like that. I'm going to leave it as is. Should we bring these two together? Or is this... This uh, which, is like a different action. I, I don't know where you are right now. I can see... Ah! What are words? <laughs> where are you? Here. For some reason, Google isn't showing me. Oh. Oh, okay. So uh, I'll oh, no, oh, okay. Now I can see you. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Bring and it up one more as well, or just leave it like that? Leave it like that. And uh, now, Cora read, read it himself to catch the stranger, or Cora read it himself and caught the, st caught the stranger. Maybe even caught, that is more final. Cora read it himself and caught the stranger. And from here, I would cut it to the point where they are already outside, or where they are uh, reaching outside. Okay, so he isn't carrying her at this point, so we can cut all this. Uh, well, probably supports her or something. Okay, so just just get rid of this for now. Mm -hmm. Right. And this should be support if we maintain action here. Um, just we got it down to two paragraphs. Yeah. <laughs> Nice work. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> I'm so proud right now. <laughs> it's not painful anymore. Mm -hmm. There are some instances where it's really painful, mm -hmm. right? And I can't think of a recent example, but sometimes after we do something like this, I have to take time off to readjust my thoughts and you know calm down a little bit mm -hmm. but with this one this is like I, now we're further into it I can see now <laughs> and, I, and I'm aware that the stuff's all it's not like okay I think my problem is when I write something I'm really proud of myself I'm like this is this mm -hmm. is great right and then I send it off and then it comes back and it's like we should change this change this we do all this different stuff and it makes the story better but at that at that moment in time, I'm like super proud of mm -hmm. what I've just accomplished and all this and that. Yeah. So, and uh, and also while you're still in the moment of where that story happened, uh, it's it's more difficult to to get the outside perspective. Mm. Whereas where when some time has uh, has passed, and I mean, these posts are over two years old now so yeah. it's, it's easier to view them uh, with a stranger's eye mm -hmm. uh, then, it's, then it gets easier uh, so some some distance makes all the difference uh, fun comparison for example right now when I'm uh, when I'm making the image quotes for Seeker and uh, and the Estonian the Estonian uh, adaptation for Seeker uh, I am looking the text in a very def different way and well since for the image quotes there is a very small amount of text in the spotlight at the time uh, I'm immediately picking up on so certain things that uh, I wouldn't wouldn't have wanted to change during the editing and now I'm like 
hmm, yeah, this <laughs> thing really feels redundant, doesn't it? <laughs> mm. And uh, and same thing with the with the Estonian version. Like uh, I'm not uh, so much translating it sentence by sentence, but in certain places I am condensing it a lot. Mm -hmm. And while I'm doing it, it doesn't feel like anything is actually lost. So uh, there, there's like some of it is 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 due to the factor that the language is just, just work differently. They flow differently, and uh, and certain things just don't work well in Estonian. Mm. Certain things that you where you have to spend words in English to say out something thi some things, and in Estonian you just snap it and like <laughs> yeah that was it yeah <laughs> we're done here <laughs> but it's like it's it's weird because it's uh, it's my own text so it's like <gasps> and uh, and sometimes i remember having the uh, having some sort of sense of how it would work in estonian while writing but now it's so different so it's like ah <laughs> <laughs> anyway where were we Cole dropped down and stumbled outside. He peeled the torn bit of metal off the scrap ship, then returned to the pilot to cut her down. He forced several fire straps. Cole readied himself and caught the stranger. They made it out to the daylight soon. Or something like... I will, I will write it down. <laughs> okay, you got this. They had made it! <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that one. Mm. That one is in the future. Mm -hmm. In our future, not the story's future. Yep. <laughs> That's Mister? kind of weird, actually. I think... <laughs> okay, so a massive tangent, but I think later on in the story, when Elden Ox is talking to Corey, they're like, wait, does this mean we have to go rescue ourselves from the ship? you know because ev everything that's happened mm -hmm. is it like oh if we don't do that now are we going to lose Nux in this time like they don't understand what's going on right now mm -hmm. but there's that whole it's weird isn't it the deja vu storyline it's good I enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> so many possibilities and oh I'm sitting here Mr. Bonesing my fingers excellent okay. he continued to <laughs> I think you can cut the part about uh, uh, about um, uh, Moire and Knox. Okay. And then basically, uh, no, 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 no! Don't you dare! <laughs> okay. Uh, they they made it out to daylight and sat down. And Corey offered his new acquaintance a smoke. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this part we we cut. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were hovering over this. Oh, was I? Yeah. Oh, well, on my then... screen it didn't show that, so Google was being weird. Blame oh, okay. Google for that one, not me. <laughs> okay. Blame Google. They made it out to daylight. Sat. Their wreckage. What brings you to our chaos besides us, I mean? <laughs> Cheeky <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Brings you to our chaos. Besides us, I mean, hey, fortune, a taste for high life. Mm. 
We could probably just cut that to besides us, I mean. Nah, leave it. Yeah? This 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 is like this uh, illustrates some character. Okay. Oh, uh, what is it? Just because you are a character doesn't mean you have character. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wolf, for that advice. <laughs> okay. He was unable to... Oh, are you going <gasps> to... Nice. This is where we have to put asterisks in, I think. Okay. Because uh, viewpoint change. <laughs> what are words? I <laughs> 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 drifted away and got lost in a jumble of ethereal. I don't know, ethereal noises. Then there was light, proper daylight. There was sky, there was water, she was breathing. And then there was this guy waving somewhere, mm. talking apparently. She couldn't quite concentrate to make any sense of it. <laughs> Over explaining. She fumbled towards her shoulder pocket and pulled out a small multi tool. With some effort, she was able to break her visor's seal. And... And then... And pop it off. <laughs> the guy was still talking. Another smoke. Oh wait, there was action. Let's see. But uh, wait, there's more. <laughs> okay, let's skip this. Yep, okay, this works. Poked at her direction. Uh oh. Um in shoved? her direction. Oh, in, I think. Poked, uh, shoved her. Di uh. Shoved the smoke in her direction, like something she, like that. She gratefully accepted. <laughs> this certainly qualified as occasion. <laughs>
Yeah. Except oh. it, it. No, that's the the thing is that she's. Uh, yeah, there is a reference to the smoke, but she's speaking about other things. Of course, I could. Huh. Uh, I don't know. I could cut that whole thing, but then again, that's about the shop. The old shop thing. Not perfect, but it's the what is literally happening, or what what what's literally what they are literally doing. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the part about Corey, like oh, it's a shop. <laughs> uh, th that's the th th I don't think we need it here. So let's boop. <laughs> I found Mariah and Nux, like Nux is passed out or whatever. Mariah is like frantically moving around the beach or <laughs> the shore and Corey's just sat here with his new friend chilling out <laughs> on top of the shuttle like yeah carry on <laughs> you yeah, do I'm, you Mariah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut them out I will just focus on the on the scenery here mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So boring. we we could wrap this post here. Let's see what else is here. Uh, he took Smith's hand and shook it with white grin. I've sort of jumped your ship. I must ask why something drove to you. Eventually, the ship beached itself. Moray called out to the bear from the. From the bank? Oh, like shore. Yeah. Hori, did you find what you were looking for? No. So this is like several. Several uh, characters, a lot of little dialogue. I would just cut it and carry on with Coyote's post as its own thing. So go out on a high note. <laughs> Because in the next uh, in the next uh, post, both yours and mine, we're just sort of faffing about, and uh, later when we get back to Moray and such, we can we might just yoink some of the dialogue and implant it if it's if it's necessary. But I don't I don't think. Uh, Yeah, I don't I don't think we actually need this part. So this is like post seven. Uh, and Kyoto's uh, 
those probably don't need as much cutting because it's more concentrated stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. And cover several. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I think uh, I think part six should end with I'm sorry I jumped your ship. Then uh, both of our posts from September twenty-five mm -hmm. should Just be skipped, and uh, and the next uh, forum. Uh, the next uh, reading sample will be Kiyori's two posts back to back. Okay. Standing on the mountain. <laughs> Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> what was that song? Peter Cushing lives in. <laughs> okay. Winst is it Winstable? Yeah! I think it is. That's it. Him right here on a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think we can uh, declare today's uh, editing session a great success. We. I will bank this episode here. Everybody who stayed with us, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>